Hey folks, welcome to another interesting tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to implement a scratch card using React Native Skia and React Native Gesture Handler. So without further ado, let's get started. For this tutorial, I have initialized a bare React Native project and installed React Native Skia and React Native Gesture Handler. So in the interest of time, I did some basic layouting and code structuring. So our app.dsx file contains the gesture root handler view, some basic layouting, and we will be writing our code in scratchcard.dsx. So in our scratchcard.dsx, we have two basic UI component. One is the offer component. This will be shown when the card is completely scratched. And this is the scratch pattern, which on which the user will perform the scratch or the gesture. And we will be writing the entire logic for gesture and everything inside the scratch card. And we also have some basic styling. So in order to detect the scratches or the user gesture, the pan gesture handler is the right component. So let's define a gesture detector. And the type of gesture is pan. So let's define the pan gesture. So the gesture dot pan. And we are importing like both the gesture detector and the, this gesture.pan from React Native Gesture Handler. Now we can define the on start method, on update method, and on end method. So on start will be called like when the user starts the gesture. On update will be called throughout the gesture event, like whenever they are like come doing the scratch, and on end will be executed when the gesture has been stopped or like user lifts his finger. Now let's assign this pan gesture to the gesture detector. Now let's define up a container view. So we'll be, we will be using the basic view from React Native. Let's define a styling. Style start container. Now let's define up a canvas. So this has been imported from React Native Skia and we can map our own layout method which we which we have already defined okay. so let's map it and also give it its basic styling so styles are like just defining height and width that's it let's save it okay. we got our canvas now let's take a step back and understand like how we will be doing like the scratch card so the scratch card uh, will have like a three layer. One is the scratch pattern, which will be on the top and like the user will perform a gesture and we will be like removing parts of it, which are being uh, scratched by the user. So in order to implement this, we can, what we can do, we can use the mask from the React Native Skia. So whenever user perform a gesture, we take the input and create a SVG out of it, like a SVG path. And then we can apply it to a mask so that we can remove whatever path or whatever SVG we have created from the scratch pattern. So, so let's define a state called paths. This will, the type of this will be SK path. This is coming from Skia. Yeah, and it will be empty here. So for all the like user interaction or the gestures, we will be storing those SVG path inside this path array. Now, whenever the gesture gets started, we get like a gesture event from it. Like we can do a new paths, copy the existing paths. Now, whenever the gesture gets started, we need to initialize the SVG path. So for this, we can do path equals skia. We are importing this from React Native Skia. We can do skia dot path dot make. Before this, let me give you a brief context about SVG path. So SVG path is nothing like the starting point, and then we can say like just move to this point, and then we can say make a line from the old previous point to the next point, and so on. So for this, when the gesture gets started, we need to say like for the SVG path to move to the place where the user has started the gesture. So what we can do path 
dot move to and from this gesture object we get uh, the x coordinate and the y coordinate and now we just need to add our this newly created path to the path array and update the state so i can do new paths dot push path. and i can do set paths So this time it initiates a new SVG path. This says move to the this says push the path to the path survey. And here we are just setting the state. Now we define like we said the part to move to this particular coordinate. Now during the entire duration of the gesture, during which this on update method will be called, we need to update this newly pushed path and say like just move to the new coordinate, move to the next coordinate and so on. So say like new paths. We can extract like the path we need to update so we are just taking a reference of it we can do paths dot length minus one to get the like the last object because we are pushing at the back now we can do a path dot line two and we can just say the coordinate g dot x g dot y and now we can just update the state set paths new parts now let's work on our canvas component so let's render the offer card it requires the width and height from the canvas layout metadata so you can just pass So this offer component is nothing like the final view the user will get after scratching the card. You can define our mask. We are importing mask from React Native Skia. And then we can render the scratch pattern. And we can also define our mask with an empty group. So group has also been imported from React Native Skia. So by default the mask will be alpha we need to change the mode to luminance it will show the, the behind like this offer card whenever there is a white color and it will hide when there is a black color so it will show the scratch pattern whenever there is a white and it will show the offer card whenever there is black so in the mask what we can do we can define a basic rectangle set its coordinate to zero we can define the width from the like the canvas uh, layout matter and also the height and we can set the color to white and now you can see like this scratch pattern is getting up here if we set it this to black right you will see that the offer card is getting rendered because we are using a luminance mask so it works on like the black and white color we want to show the offer card whenever the user has scratched so what we can do we can define, we can loop over our paths, which we are pushing over here, the SVG paths, and we can render the paths here. We will set the color to black and this will be visible. And by default, the rectangle is white. So we can do paths dot map. Now to render a path, we can use the path component from React Native Skia. Now we need to define a couple of properties like path, which is this path object so now we can define the stroke width it should be a number uh, 40 has worked for me you can set it to a different number whatever works for you now this style should be stroke this is not styling of this path this internal svg style so if we set it to stroke it will work as a line if we set it to fill then 
it might try to complete the polygon and it will create some shapes which is not the intended behavior now the stroke join and stroke cap both should be on we can also do some anti-aliasing and set the color of the parts to black and as we are mapping over the paths we also need to define a key the path has an internal a way to convert the entire part to string so to svg string so we we are setting it as to a primitive value so so now let's save this and reload the app and let's give it a try as you can see like we are able to scratch the card and able to see the image behind it so let me show it again so this is like the first interaction we did we are saving this to the paths array this is the second one and so on so as you can see we are able to do it so that's how we implement a scratch card now optionally what we can do is like when the user scratches like some threshold let's say 70 percent of the card we can just show the image completely right we don't want them to scratch the card completely and then show the offer so uh, we can leverage the on end method and we also need a dependency called svg path properties to calculate the area of it so how we will approach this is by we will first calculate the total area of the canvas and then we calculate the area of all the paths and then we like do a basic percentage calculation and compare it with the threshold so before that let's define some variables this is total area and we are storing it inside a ref because we don't want to call a re-enter that should be a number so this will contain like the total area scratch so far this will be computed after like completion of each gesture we can initialize the svg path properties like it so and do path properties we can do new svg path properties it's a class we are initializing this and as an argument we can pass the like the last path parts dot length minus one and we can do it to svg string because it takes an svg string and then calculates the area of that path now in order to get area of this path we can do path area which path properties dot get total length and we can multiply with the stroke width which we defined over here let's 40 ideally it should be inside a variable we can calculate the area scratched it should be equal to total area this is the ref plus path area this will be like the total uh, scratched area we can also update the total area of current to area scratched and now we can define a condition so like if the area scratched we can also do percentage so it should be area scratched divided by the total area of the canvas which is which we can get from canvas layout meta should be width the height so duplication of width and height and we can multiply it by so now we can define our if condition like if area scratch percentage is greater than whatever threshold let's say 50 so we can set some state to indicate the card has been scratched we can also disable we can also disable the cashier handler so that we can save some memory and we don't register any new gestures from the user so that's it for this tutorial folks if you found this interesting then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such interesting videos thank you